In this Universe Sandbox video, we're going to be terraforming Jupiter's moon. We're going to be terraforming Io, Europa, and Callisto, because we've already done Ganymede in another video. These are all of Jupiter's major moons, and we're going to make them habitable so you could live on each and every single one of them. So if we pull up Jupiter here, we can see we already did terraform Jupiter, and I don't know why it's looking a little bit yellow. Anyway, and we also have Ganymede done, which actually is one of my favorite ones we've done so far. But we're going to start with Io. Okay, so we got Io here. Io is very yellow. It has a very yellowish hue to it. Let's turn on our flashlight. So we can take a look around and see all the different land structures and we can see it kind of looks gross. But to terraform Io, we're gonna need to add some things to it. Let's start by adding a tiny bit of hydrogen because we did find that when we add hydrogen to a small body like this, it'll let the water stick to the surface. Because if we don't add the hydrogen, the water just like evaporates off. So if we go to tools, we can go to material and then make this hydrogen and just add a small amount to the surface. Let it absorb in there. We check the composition. You can see now there's a tiny bit of hydrogen. So now that we have hydrogen, we can go ahead and add some water. So in the material tab, we can also go to water and just start shooting some water on the surface. There we go, some water. Let's shoot a little bit on the back too. And then we can click settle water, which is basically the same as if we just sped up time. And I kind of like that. Um, I'm thinking we make Isle more of like a desert world because of the yellow color. Let's keep it that water and then all this will be like desert and we'll need to add a lot of atmosphere layers. So let's do that now. So let's go and add an atmosphere and that's going to be very thick. We can actually turn down the mass, but where we're going to need to do some stuff is in the atmosphere layers. Okay, this actually looks like it's pretty good. It's about 15 degrees Celsius, which is very similar to earth in temperature. Let's actually make it a little bit warmer so we can get it to a desert. Okay, so we got it to 35.6 Celsius, which is very, very hot, which is what we want. Now let's adjust some of the visuals. Let's make the atmosphere look a little better. Let's give it some white. For this, I think we're going to want um, studio lights so we can see what we're working with. And let's add some clouds. Let's actually make the atmosphere a tiny bit red just to kind of get um, that like desert feel to it and also make the clouds a tiny bit orangish too just slightly just like that perfect and then let's start adjusting the let's add city lights onto it see that on the back there's some city lights put in the correct seed that one always works pretty good so i think we're just going to use that one forever for our city light color let's do some bright yellow lights just like that to kind of match the surface I actually want to adjust the surface to be um, a tiny bit of greenness to it, just like that. Okay, that's looking really good. And let's adjust. I actually like the interface color already because it's that yellow. Okay, let's check our habitability on Io. We got 4.5%. So let's see how we could make that a little bit higher. Uh, maybe make the atmosphere a little bit more massive. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we got 37.2, which is, we're gonna leave it like that. But it will be very hot on this planet, but you could survive. You just, I don't know, you'd have to swim in the lakes or something to cool down every day. Okay, and let's name Io, we're gonna name it Desert Io, just so we can know that this is the terraformed one. All right, now we're all done with Io, let's save it. And now let's move on to Europa. Europa is the first object we're going to terraform that actually has water on it. So Europa actually has a giant thick layer of ice. You can see if you go to composition, all that blue is water. So I was thinking that we keep it water and create like an ocean world for Europa. So let's just start by naming it. We're going to name it Sea Europa. And because that it's covered in so much ice, it reflects tons of light. It reflects five times as much light as our moon does. Um, we're gonna start again by adding a tiny bit of hydrogen to it. And just shoot a little bit on the surface there. And now let's, it already has water, so we actually don't need to add water. So let's go straight to the atmosphere to see if we can melt this ice. Okay, so we added a thick atmosphere and it looks like it turned straight black. Yeah, it defaults to black. So let's change this to uh, around there and then turn down the opacity so we actually start to see the surface about there I think looks pretty nice for clouds. We're definitely gonna want some clouds It's hard to see them through the ice. So let's turn up our Atmosphere layers to try to get some heating on here. Okay, so it's starting to heat up. This is a good temperature now um, I wonder if this ice will melt. Oh, we can actually just click melt all right here So this will just melt all the ice it would have melted over time I just didn't want to have to run the simulation for so long. So now we got some melted ice. That's looking really cool So it's actually very 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 deep ocean. Uh, it would 
it's very thick. And Europa is actually about 25% the size of Earth. So this ocean is so deep. So a lot of marine life, I would say, would live here. Um, and our temperature is looking better now at our atmosphere layers going. And let's check our habitability. We got 16.5%. Perfect. And let's change our interface color to a blue color. And we're not going to add vegetation or city lights because it's all going to be underwater anyway. But I like the way that looks a lot. And we have already done Ganymede in another video. Um, so check that one out. That one's really cool. And so now for our last one. We're gonna do Callisto. Before the video continues, do you know that I have a Discord server? Any person that joins my Discord server before I reach 10,000 subscribers will get a special role. So make sure you do that. The link is in the description. All right, Callisto is one of the biggest moons in the solar system. It's the third largest moon in the entire solar system. Pretty boring here, so let's bring some life to this planet, literally. All right, so let's start again with the hydrogen just to keep any water we put on it on the surface. Add some hydrogen, perfect. And then we'll go straight into the water. Start filling up these craters with water. We'll get a good amount here. Okay, that's looking pretty cool. We got like a lot of tiny islands here. Um, it is mostly covered in water now, which is go really good for life. So that's gonna be perfect. Let's go ahead and add an atmosphere. And once again, it's gonna start like this very ugly color. So let's hurry and go change that. Let's give it a light bluish atmosphere somewhere around here. Perfect, that's looking good. Add some clouds, nice. Okay, and let's adjust the atmosphere layers to get a better temperature. Okay, around there seems good. It's going up a little bit, but that should be good. 15.4 degrees Celsius. And let's now add some vegetation to the surface. Let's actually make it a little bit darker green, a little bit more yellow. Change the colors underneath to try to get, um, bring different colors out that we want. Okay, I'm liking the way that's looking a lot. Let's turn on a studio light so we can see the beauty of it. So if we check it out in the normal lighting, it's going to be dim out here because we are very far away from the sun. Let's add some city lights to it real quick. Um, looks like we're going to need a new seed. Perfect. I mean, that kind of helped. Let's check it out. It'll have some more right here. At least it should. I guess this seed doesn't always work. Okay, we'll go with this one and let's give it some green city lights just so they're bright green like that. Okay, so here's Callisto now. Let's name it, we're gonna call it Cali because now it's better. Oh, that interface color is very ugly. Okay, Cali or Callisto is now habitable. Let's check our habitability. 31.6, perfect. All right, so now we got Cali for Callisto, terraformed, and we got Ganymede's already done. We got ocean planet Europa. There we go. Ooh, what's happening with the clouds there? Pretty cool. And desert planet Io, perfect. And then back in the middle of it all, we got our terraformed Jupiter. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you wanna see more terraforming videos like this, leave a like. Let me know down in the comments what system I should terraform next. And I'll see you guys next time.